spread out on the dash. Running man, how I get to the cash? Hey, this polo's Gucci, no Lauren. Uh, she said I'm too fly, be touring. Hey, Ritz looking like I poured it. Flat, James Harden, how I'm scoring. Uh, Riding the two when I head to the bush. Eyes low, I be off for the cuz. VB's on, all I feel is the lugs. Pockets full, shit look like a buck. Welcome, everybody, to the season two opener here with the Western Illinois Leathernecks Legacy on College Hoops 2K8. We are here in Lawrence, Kansas to take on the University of Kansas, a very storied university here in basketball. And we're going to start off with a 2 0 lead, but a big time three answering right back are the Jayhawks. And then the steal and inside to get the 5 2 lead for the Jayhawks. Another really nice pass. Leads to a miss, but his own rebound would go up and in, so it's a 7-2 lead for Kansas. Fundamentals, there's a pass, eventually getting to Gonzalez for three, making it a two-point game. Then over to Milton again, and Milton with a nice big three, and now it's a 12-7 game, and this man just keeps getting inside on us here. Milton with the assist on that one. Then inside is Big B. And we like to see Bigby doing some things, for sure. We need to see our recruits getting things done. And there's another nice shot right there. And Kansas up 7, 16-9. Then Rainmaker coming in, and he's going to get the bucket. We're now down 7 until Rainmaker gets inside again. And the foul. Now it's a 4-point game, and there's Milton. Nice big 3 for him. He's got 8 points so far out of 21. Gonzalez going to stop it and pop it in transition making it 21-17. Then the steal right here, and that is Burnett, who did not get redshirted, and he would get inside and get the bucket. Now a 21-19 ball game. We are keeping up with the Jayhawks, and there's a nice shot right there. That's a big three. 24-19. Inside, and the bucket for Aries McKnight. And then there's the steal for Kansas, and there is Odom coming down and getting the big bucket right there, or Osborne, I'm sorry. 28 to 25 after that shot, and then another nice shot right there for Burnett. It's 28-27, the one-point game, but Gonzalez gives us the lead with a huge three. Now it's a four-point game, and there is more points for Gonzalez until this miss right here would lead to a nice rebound, put back no good. And the rebound dunk right there. Now it's a five-point game. The steal from Kansas. They're coming down in transition. This one passed to Milton. Gets around our boy Gonzalez for the points. It's a three-point game. And Milton really just killing us right there. And Milton comes in again and gives Kansas their lead back. It's 39-37. Nice run for the Jayhawks until Gonzalez can get us a lead back. Now we're up three points, and there's the miss and the rebound from Fundamentals, and we'll take a 42-39 lead into the tunnel at halftime. The halftime report, we're just shooting better percentage than them. We are shooting better percentage on three-pointers, and we've made more foul free throws, which means we're getting fouled more too. And Gonzalez has 16 points in the first half. So now here we go to the second half, Milton toying around a little bit. That one gets kicked outside, and that one gets made by Smalls. You're killing us, Smalls. And there inside, McKnight going to get some points, and then outside there is Milton again doing what he's been doing all day to us, and he's just going to continue doing that to us. It is a two-point game. Now it's a four-point game as the Jayhawks get the bucket there. There's Gonzalez from the outside. He's going to keep the game close. It's a one-point game. Now a three-point game, and that's going to make it a five-point game. Gonzalez going to bring it back to a two-point game. Gonzalez has just been huge for us. There's inside the blocking foul on fundamentals. That's going to make this a 57-52 game until Gonzalez again makes it a two-point game. Then inside, Aries McKnight going to get the tie. Now we're up two, and there's the little alley-oop for Kansas as they tie the ball game right there. Then Smalls from the outside, and again, you're killing us, Smalls. That's a big shot for them, a three-point lead for Kansas with eight to go. And then inside, nice play. Five-point game, and it is Rainmaker to make it a two-point game. That is right. Then a nice shot from them. They've got a four-point edge on us now. Then the point guard from outside, Orfini, or I don't even know how to say that name, but 
Well, they're up seven, and then we'll make it a five-point game. And there he is again, Ofisi. I don't know how to say that. But another huge three-pointer from outside, and Kansas would then just start draining everything. Look at this, just a barrage of shots going down. Milton, Smalls, just literally everybody. And now it's a full 20-point game. So from eight minutes to go in the game to two minutes to go in the game, it just got way out of hand. But you could see Gonzalez not done hitting shots, just continually putting them down. There's Tony Medicine. He's going to pull up and hit one right there with no time on the clock. So at least a little dignity for our squad. A 12-point loss to the Kansas Jayhawks. They just... Again, in that six-minute span, just ran us out of the building. Milton, the player of the game with 29 points. He was 11 of 15, 2 of 2 for free throws, and 5 of 8 from three-point land. That's, that's Orfini, the point guard, with 23 points. Smalls, the shooting guard, with 20 points. Milton had 29. Chavis had 6 points, 10 boards. Pulley didn't have any points, but he had 14 boards, so he was kind of big for them as well. But three guys really is what helped them run us out of the building today at one point there in a six-minute span. As we look at what our guys were able to do, though, I'm quite proud of what they were able to do. Scoring 80 points on the Jayhawks is pretty big. Tony Medicine with eight points. Hobble Snack, uh, he didn't do really too much. Curry had four. Burnett had six. 31 from Gonzalez, 11 from Rainmaker, 10 from Aries McKnight, eight points, four boards from Fundamentals. So... I can't be too mad at them, as here we're going to go through a super sim of our second game, this one against Tulane. Tulane coming in to visit us, and this game was a closer one, but we were not able to pull this one off. A 76-72 loss to Tulane, not exactly happy about it. But we have a three-star guy in our sights. We're hoping we can bring him in. I don't know. I, I, I don't have confidence in that, but we'll see if we can. As now we will take on Illinois-Chicago, just like we did last year. And we will beat them. A four-point win on the road here against them. And Tony Medicine doesn't do anything. Great. 16 points from Gonzalez, though. 10 points from Rainmaker. Seven points from Fundamentals, along with nine boards. So not a bad game for him. And then on their side, 12 points, I believe, was their high. As now we will sim another game, this one against uh, Lamar. As we take on Lamar, and we were losing this one, but we flipped it on him and won this thing by 12. So big win for us. As they had a man with 14 points, a man with 12, and a man with 10. So let's see if we had anybody beat that kind of production. Aries McKnight had 6 points. There's 8 points, 7 boards from Fundamentals, 23 points from Gonzalez. Tony Medicine with only 4 points, 9 points for Rainmaker, 10 points for Stephen Curry. So good game for him. And then in the final simulated game here in this episode, we are taking on UTEP. UTEP coming in to visit us, and they came in to whoop our ass. 88-64, to Rainmaker with 2 points, Gonzalez with 14. 16 points, 12 boards from Fundamentals. Proud of the man. 8.7 boards from Bigby. And that's really it. Medicine had 5 points in this one. So after a very good scrimmage for Tony Medicine, he has not been really balling out in the actual games. But we'll see if that can change as we're going to take on number 18, Kentucky. They are 5-1. and one. We are 2-3. and three. That is going to be a rough game. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. How do you think we will do against Kentucky? Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Do not forget to drop a like on your way out, as well as subscribe if you are new. There is plenty more of this series, as well as a couple others on the channel, coming your way. If you want to know what series those are, check out this end card here at the end of this video. Thank you.